right, we're we coming, coming off of uh, two important games, uh, a rival game, uh, Mississippi Valley this past weekend, uh, where, where our kids played really hard and, and, and fought and got a victory. And, and then we came back on Monday night and, and played UAPB, which probably was one of our, our, our better games. Uh, our guys were really in tune to the game and, and uh, guys really, really fought hard, played well. I thought we shot the basketball uh, extremely well. At, uh, maybe a four or five minute stretch there where we knocked down a couple of threes and, and then I thought, thought that really had us playing extremely hard. Uh, the next two games coming up uh, are extremely important for, for us in the race. Well, we're tied with two teams at six and three and they were still trailing preview. I think they may be nine and oh. Uh, so the first, taking the first game, looking at Alcorn, a rival game, a team that, that, that outplayed us here uh, probably for the first 37 to 38 minutes and we actually played well maybe the last two or three minutes and end up winning, winning the ball game. What's been working during the three game win streak? You know, I, th I think uh, defensively we, we've always been uh, a pretty good defensive team. We found guys uh, uh, at the right time to, to make shots. Uh, John Trail Walker has uh, provided some, some, some threes for us at the, at the right time. Uh, Dantella Ross has, has provided some threes for us at the right time, but uh, the one thing that we can hang our head on is on that on that defensive end, we've probably given up 55, 56 points a game. Uh, in conference, probably overall, I think we may be giving up 66 points, maybe four or three or somewhere, somewhere in there, and that's maybe top 50 in, in the country, some, somewhere along that line. So, Coach, you said how um, most, the majority of their game, you trail their game. What are some things that you want to do this time around so that you don't go into that game uh, getting down early. You know, the, the thing we've been working on, uh, they, they, they're in a 2-2-1 two, two, back to a 2-3 half court. Uh, sometimes they drop back to a 3-2 zone, so it causes some problems just because you don't know if they're going to be on a one guard front or a two guard front. Uh, we got to recognize that early and not spend as much time uh, trying to see what they're in and instead of just going, going ahead and, and playing and trying to attack the basket and get to the free throw line. Uh, I think our inability to make shots against us put us in a hole. Uh, they came out in a man the first two or three possessions we scored, and then all of a sudden they, you know, threw the zone out there, and then we went seven, eight minutes where we struggled to score, and, and where they did score. I thought they, they did an excellent job in transition of pushing the basketball down the side of the floor with uh, Tremaine Crosby, and then uh, that, that trail man at that, that five spot. I thought it was huge for us because we got two guys running into the lane and they got one guy stopping at the three-point line. Uh, and I thought the kids, number 12, I thought he thought he hit two big uh, threes uh, in, that, in that first half. Coach, how, is it, how important is it to get Lemmy Howard uh, you know, involved in what you do? I think Lemmy is, is key because all of our other guys, we pretty much know what they're going to do. Lim is probably the one that's the most inconsistent, but when he plays well and he, and he shoots the ball well, he gives us a 6'7", six, 6'8", six, guy that's athletic, that can stretch the floor. Uh, he, he gives us another option of, of another guy shooting a jump shot. So when he plays well, we, we, know, we normally have a pretty good ball game. You mentioned John Trello just a minute ago, I mean, 19 points. And you guys been struggling on offense. What was it like to you know have a guy like him step up? Because I think he came in averaging less than ten games. No, well, John Trail shot the ball well at, at Ball State and, and, and probably averaged uh, almost double figures for them. So we were expecting him to, to come in and, and, and give us eleven or twelve points. But I think out of the eleven or twelve points, we were expecting him to give us two or three threes a game. And I think that's what he has done over the last three games. He has given us those two or three threes in the game, and, and it's obviously when. He makes a three up when he or Jesse Love makes a three, then we're a totally different team just because we put so much pressure on the other team on the defensive end. It seems like y'all are gradually, you know, starting to get to the point where you want y'all to be, you know, not only defensively, which is being consistent out here, but offensively as well. So what do you think, what would be the message to your team to, I guess, to keep, to keep what y'all are doing now going and not, I guess, lag off and, for this streak to end at three? I think the, the message for the team, which has been uh, all week since since the Monday, since the Pine Bluff game, has been uh, we're sitting there with, with three teams tied at, 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 at two, which we can go and drop two games at Alcorn and, and, and at Southern this, this weekend and, and drop to four or five. Or we can win both games and stay at two 
and set up a potential really good game with Preview coming in depending on what they do. So the message has been uh, we're in a must situation. We, we, we got to win. There's, there's no other way for us going to Alcorn. It's a must game for us. It's also a must game for them because they're three and six. And, and if they get these two games on Saturday and Monday, you're looking at going to five and six. And, and that will allow them to catch somebody because everybody's trying to stay out of that that fifth, sixth, seventh seed because that's the, that's the seed that has to travel in, in the first round. So uh, these two games are key for us because uh, we got five out of seven, five out of the last seven are at home, but these two are sitting in the way. We need to figure out how can we get this first game at all going to, to stay right right in that in, in striking range. How do you feel like that first four get a home game has kind of incentivized the regular season a little more than in the past where everybody just went to Houston if you're a top eight team? You know, it, it's, it's huge because a lot of teams play really well at home. Uh, you get a great crowd for a, 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 like a play-in game, our first round game. Uh, and, and then the kids really look forward to it. And, and the thing about having to travel, which we had to travel uh, last year, is it puts so much pressure on you to go and play on someone else's court. We probably played our best game of the season last year at Southern, but then we still end up losing, losing on the buzzer. So uh, just just the fact of knowing that you can possibly have someone come to your place, uh, you can sleep in your own bed, you can do your own uh, uh, pre-games here and not have to worry about going on the road, uh, it, it, it's huge. I know it's huge from a, from a coaching standpoint.